Right, so I've given you the book and I want you to try and guess which book it is just by touching it. Turn down for what? Turn down for what? What's going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It's Friday. The sun is beaming down as you can see. And me and Portia are just on our way to pick up Vanellope. We're starting this vlog late today because we're planning on going to Ikea later on. And then maybe across the Cates and Barbara and Kevin's. So we don't want to bore you with all the daily routine from the mornings like we always do. Or the mid-afternoon, should I say. So we're just going to go and get Vanellope now from nursery. I think she'll be knackered like she was yesterday because they'll have had her out all day in the in the playground. What's up? Yeah, she's wearing odd things. She got some more squishies this morning from Amazon. What's that? Peach? Peach and a pineapple. So she's got loads of fruit today. Yesterday she got a unicorn, a whale, and like a thing off the adverts, I think. And this camera's annoying me because it's not not zooming in properly. Anyway, we're gonna go get Vanellope from nursery. See how she's been all day. So we just got out of nursery after picking her up. She was in the garden outside, so she's been in there all day. She's gonna be absolutely knackered. So she's just walking now with her sister back home. Hey. Um yeah, I'm going out today. Um I'm already. Um I'm actually I've actually just got like my hair straight. Um I'm wearing a top. I don't know where it's from because it's Diogo's. This jacket, um let me guess. Um I can't see. I don't know, it says I I don't know, but I know clothes had this for ages and she gave it to me. And then the jeans are from new pretty little thing and and again my Puma shoes are from JD. I'm going about an hour like an hour away from it, half an hour away. Don't know. Um it's actually near where my school is. Yeah, my school's very, very far. But um yeah we are. I am going out today. And my dad's picking me up at nine o'clock. And let me see what time it is actually, because I'm going in it is now it's very dark and that but it is now 10 past four and so i'm going in eight minutes really so i do need to hurry up and get my move on because i need to take my uniform down i need to make sure i've got everything with me my phone's not even charged fully it's like on 50 percent and so i'm just gonna have to keep it on like low battery mode I never do that. I don't even know why I don't put it on low battery mode. <sighs> but I never do. I was gonna I was gonna use the fast charger, but I was just like, I'm just coming in, getting ready and going. Because obviously I came and then I had like 28 minutes left, like 28 minutes to get ready. <sighs> but the reason why I'm leaving at such a weird time, like 80 minutes past, is because my boss is actually at 28 minutes past. And my boss is at, like, I have to walk all the way up to Hay Farm, which takes me five minutes to go up there. So it's nothing really. Just gotta make sure that I'm there for when my boss gets there. Otherwise, I'm gonna be waiting at a daft time. Um, but I'm not gonna name who I'm going out with. But um, yeah, this is the first time in months I'm actually going out. Not that, not that, I, that I don't get asked to come out. It's just I don't like going out. But it's dead sunny, so it's a good idea, you know. So um. I'll pass you back on to Mum and Dave, which is Sarah and Dave too. So, see you when I see you next. Later that same evening. All right guys, so vanellope has gone to sleep. She weren't in the mood for the camera today because she's been like at nursery twice and she's just really, really exhausted. This heat has took it out of her. Even though she's had a cap on, she's had plenty of sun cream on. And she keeps saying someone's shouting her at her at nursery as well, which has bothered me a lot tonight. Um, when I went down with her and, and lay with her, she wouldn't shut up about it, so it's obviously bothering her. So Sarah's gonna contact the nursery because sometimes she just says things, but she was like constantly talking to me about it, so that tells me that somebody has shouted at her. Maybe they have shouted at her because she's done something wrong, but me and Sarah don't really agree that 
teachers especially should shout at your kids because she's got a goal there and then she has time away from it and she goes back and if she shouted at the time away that she has she's gonna dread going back into nursery um so i mean not everybody might agree with us but that's that's just how, how we are but we cleaned well i didn't clean sarah cleaned liam was supposed to clean joyce's garden the decking because uh, we borrowed a car show. so he was supposed to do it and he was going to get treated but in the end sarah ended up doing it as per usual she cleaned all the decking all the driveway for her and underneath the decking as well where we keep all the bikes and everything and then the other next door neighbor melanie her son came around today with a car show and was cleaning her decking now her decking is higher than our decking, hers is raised and so is Joyce's, ours goes down to the steps and lo and behold, a son's car shed the back um, garden and it's gone all in our garden so Sarah's going to have to go out again and wash it all down so I am not impressed at all because I did say to him just do it the other way but he must have just got carried away with himself um, so it's kind of like the old saying can you polish a turd on this occasion the turd has not been able to be polished not that the garden's a turd, but we did manage to clean the car as well. But obviously I took the car off the drive around the corner because if he was doing the the um, the decking, it would have gone all over the car. I should have just left the car there now because the car probably wouldn't have got dirty. It was just the garden. No, we did it opposite. We thought the garden was going to get dirty and... W Sorry, we thought the car would get dirty and the garden wouldn't get dirty, but it was the opposite way around, so you can't win. Anyway... Oscar is a huge David Williams fan and I ordered him a new David Williams book and he doesn't know um, that it's come here yet and I think this is the one that he wanted. So I'm really proud of him because I never used to read book books when I was a kid. I used, used to read a couple of Roald Dahl ones but I was more into graphic novels and comic books and stuff like that. So I'm really proud of him that he likes reading and enjoying reading so he's going to come down in a second and we're going to surprise him with his new book which is kind of weird because you don't normally surprise kids with books it's always video games and stuff like that and other crap like that but again really proud of him that he's he's got he got into reading thanks to david williams so we're going to shout him down and then we're going to surprise him with his book right so i've given you the book and i want you to try and guess which book it is just by touching it Woodward Children. Turn it round. You can walk now. I know it that I hold it there my friends. And it feels like this. So you're excited to read that? Yeah. Is, one more. There's a few other books that you want as well, aren't there? Wait. Let me find it. It's five strange on it as well. What are you looking for? Look, I told you not to read this book at the end. No, Dad read that. Then I don't need a bookmark because I can just stick this in it. Mm, could do, couldn't you? Yeah, but we'll get you a nice, we might buy you a, one of his bookmarks for your books. I'll have a look later and see if we can get you one. I don't know how to put it back on. Fancy taking it off? What, me? It goes around the front of the book and on the inside of the front pages. Wait. What are they So, this is Dribble and Drew. He always dribbles. This is Bertha, the blubber one. She always cries. If you, even if you go like that, she'll start crying. And the knit boy, because he has a lot of gold of knits in his hair. There's a Miss Petula. I don't. I forgot her. And um, Pizza Picker. He always picks his nose. And um, Grubby Grantude. She's smelly. Brian Wong, who was never ever wrong, but I think. Yeah, he's never wrong. Windy Minda, she, Wind, Minda, she's, she thinks she's pretty, but she always farts. I forgot here. And Sophie Sofa, she always sits on the sofa. 
Bit like your dad then. Look. Look, she's just sitting on the couch. Oh yeah. A few moments later. So Oscar and Alfie went to my friend's house tonight, Alex, with Jack that you've seen in the we vlogs the, the last two nights. So what have you done there? We went in the hot tub. We had tea. We had what? In the in the hot tub. Tea. We had it. We had not had not um. But, uh, what's a big pizza one Pizza again. Chips and nuggets. Nuggets, yeah. Did you? And. What's one of the boys yeah, called? I mean, we were playing on the Xbox for a bit and we went Jack, James. James. We, we were in the hot tub. He went like that. And then um, we tried to dunk him in the water, but we couldn't. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Can we go over there again? Probably. Two weeks next Sunday. <laughs> so it depends when Alex is off, because she's a nurse, isn't she? And a DJ. And a DJ. And a DJ? Alex, you're a GJ now. <laughs> Look at Max. <laughs> Max, are you having a workout? <laughs> Maybe we'll get him. <laughs> He's broken his arm. Scratching. Max. Max, what, what are you doing? Maybe sport. He was licking. He's cleaning himself. <laughs> and you were in the hot tub, weren't you, for like two hours? No, like... Is it cold? <laughs> no, it was boiling. And it was deep. We could put bubbles in it. We could make, make it, it warmer. warmer. Could put bubbles in it and make it warm. Then we'll find How big is it? Like... It's not the size of the pool. Two of our pools. But you had to literally climb in it. Well, it won't be two of our pills, her garden's smaller than ours. No, she, she we, we needed to climb in it. Is it in the house or out? Out, out. We have to jump in it literally. Yeah, I thought it was hot, but I just got straight in it. It wasn't in hot. It's so when it's cold, you can go and sit outside in it. I we are going to get in it. So you don't have to stay in the house. I think we are going to get in it. Don't know, we'll have to sort a date out with Alex Walter. So what have you done in school today? When, when it's like a really hot day again, we should go on. <laughs> when it's like a hot day, we should ask her. When, when these go down? Yeah. What have you done in school today? I've got an exam next week. Have you? Get your head down then, aren't you, boy? I'm in... Everyone's like in the hall, but I, I'm in different classrooms. Oh, yeah. Why is that? Because, like, it, there's too many people. So we have to go in different classrooms uh, that are free. So what else have you done in school today, Tom? Um, yeah, first. I had something first, then I had religion. I can't remember what I had first, right. I had religion second, then we had science, then PE, and then English. And <coughs> In PE, we only did like normal PE, but in all the other lessons, we we were, we were revised, revising. Revising. What do you have for your dinner today? Um, cheese sandwich, a biscuit, and a drink. Mmm. -hmm. Are you just getting a new dinner menu? Because mm, I, I think it's all the same side schools, isn't it? Think so, yeah. So you might get a new one soon. All right, guys, we're going to end today's vlog there. It's been quite a um, subdued day today because of the weather. Everybody's just, it's just caught up on everybody. That's what I mean. We have a little bit of sun and everybody's um, ruined at the end of it. Sarah's back is black. She's literally been out in that sun for two days and she's just changed colour completely. She looks like, seriously, I said this to her before, she looks like the back of a passport. That's the colour of her. So, she's in a... A bit of pain actually, I put some uh, like cooling after sun gel on her back before and she's had some uh, painkillers but I told her tomorrow she needs to take it easy and not wear a vest top if it's going to be nice tomorrow. If it is nice tomorrow we're going to be going to the park with Alex who you've seen briefly in the video, that's Jack's mum. 
with her kids, the two girls and Jack. So we'll be going to Stanford Park where the waterfalls are. If the weather holds up, it's saying, well it said before that it was gonna stop raining, it's gonna start raining, sorry, at two o'clock. Then it changed to three o'clock. So I'm hoping that it doesn't rain tomorrow. I think at the night time we're gonna be going to Ikea. We were supposed to go today, but we've not. Um, we just didn't have the time. And um, Jean Imogen isn't back till tomorrow. She's watching the kids tomorrow night while we nip out. So we're gonna be nipping to Ikea. Then we're gonna go over to Kate's to see Miles and pick up the gimbal that we use for the live. And then at some point today we'll be live. Might be live in the park. If we have, you'll have already have seen it. If not, it'll be after this vlog. I don't know, it might have been through the day. You'll know anyway, either way. So do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell. Make sure you leave a comment. Even if you want to make a name up and pretend that you're not Jennifer Tuga and leave a comment, do it. We don't mind, do we? No. You're easy to find. And we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.